Welcome to Learning Karate at Home. I'm Sensei James and today I'm going to be teaching you the special technique of breathing in all your karate techniques. So welcome to your next class. So often we do a lot of techniques and the question is, are we doing them correctly? And am, can I get stronger? Can I get faster? And one of the techniques I want to talk to you today about to help you in every single session is the correct breathing for karate training. And this breathing is used in all martial arts. So let's just talk about breathing to start. When you walk down the street, of course, you breathe in generally through the nose and out through the mouth. And that is the same with karate because we need oxygen to come in and out to produce our techniques. So if I have a look here, if I breathe, if I hold my breath in, so let's all do this together because I always find it's best to learn by doing it first. So you can do it with me now. Everyone together, let's just do a side block. Okay, from here, I want you to I'm going to count. I want you to not breathe at all. Okay, we're going to do about five or ten, I don't know, till I collapse. Okay, so from here, hold your breath and try to still be fast. Ready? Hold your breath. Itch. Knee. Sun. Shi. Go. Rook. Hitch. And relax. Okay, so you can get a little bit of feeling, but as you can see, if you don't breathe, you can't finish and continue training. You're going to collapse, correct? So the idea is when you're doing traditional training or any karate training, you should be able to do the punch for whether it's five minutes or an hour. If you're doing the correct breathing, you'll be able to survive the whole way. And I learned this the hard way. When I was younger, my first trip to Japan, I was training in Tokyo and we went in and I was training with a ex-world champion, Katada Sensei, and all we did was basics for like two hours. And I struggled. I was doing the punches, but I could do them for maybe 20 minutes, but I couldn't do them for an hour. And that's what we were working and that's the culture of the Japanese is that drilling in their techniques. And what I'd learned quite quickly was, was my tension in my body was too tight. I always was told I was very tense and I had to learn to know how to relax. And a part of that was learning how to breathe correctly. Okay, so what I want you to do now all together, now we're going to do a punch. I just want you to breathe out on each punch. So ready all together and it, <coughs> breathe out. I don't care how you do it. Me, sun, chi, go, rook. So I'd go, I count, I say each, you go, knee, sun, good, she. Now, you can hear me breathe, I'm exaggerating, you don't need to breathe out aloud, okay? Now, part two, stage two. I'm gonna have, I have a little bit of fun, I do it with all my students. We're gonna try to do a fast punch now, but I wanna try and do it with a slow breath. So I want you to breathe like this. So everyone take a deep breath in, ready? And slow out. In and out. Now, your challenge is to do the same breathing. Breathe slowly out and try though to do a fast punch. As fast as you can punch, but breathing in slow motion. Okay, I'm gonna try it as well, ready? All together now, and go. All right, and relax. Guess what? I did it on purpose. It's pretty much impossible to punch fast and breathe slow. As you can see, maybe at the end, but I still breathe fast at the end to get that. So if you can't punch, fast when you're breathing slow. So if I breathe slow, it equals a punch will be slow, correct? 
So what's the opposite? Do you know? What happens if now we breathe fast? Does that mean our punch will be fast? Okay, so watch here. I'm gonna breathe fast now and see what happens. How good is that? So easy. So I want you, breathe fast. Let's do three together. Ready, on my count. I'm only gonna count. I want you to breathe in. You can breathe in so if you want. And then I'll say, itch, and you're gonna go, <laughs> breathe fast. Ready, and itch. Good, fast. Breathe fast. Knee. Good, one more. Sun. And relax. Awesome, great. So the last stage is, is we don't wanna over exaggerate the breathing. And I don't need it to be a long breath. I don't need to go <sighs> forever because the technique is very short. So now I want you to do a short, sharp breath. Short, sharp, fast breath. Now the best way and the more advanced is it comes from your stomach. It doesn't come from here, so you don't wanna do this. <sighs> I have some students that do that sometimes, like they think I just wanna see them breathe but you still need to correct, breathe, uh, correct, breathe correctly. So from here, first place your hands on your stomach, breathe in, feel your stomach, air going in and out. Now I want you to tense your stomach and sort of push all the air out as fast as you can. So watch me. So I'm tensing, really try it with me if I know it feels weird. Okay, from here, and we're gonna try it fast. Breathe fast and short. And itch. Knee. Sun. And relax. Okay, so I've just shown you how to do correct breathing. But now, while you're doing your basics and your training, you always have to keep it in your mind how to breathe correctly. At the start, you might not get it right, and it'll take a bit of time, but once you've trained it over and over, you'll find that your techniques will be faster, stronger, and you'll be more relaxed, so you'll be able to perform and do more training than you would as per usual. All right, that's the secret to correct breathing in karate. I hope you enjoyed it. Go practice it. I'll see you in our next session.